Welcome to NBA Pod TV. I'm your host, Delaney Fernando. I'm here on the historic Columbia University campus in New York City, where today we're going to be taking you behind the scenes at Columbia Business School. Now, Columbia Business School prides itself on the strength of their curriculum, their student body, and of course, being here in New York City, which gives you access to people and companies you wouldn't get anywhere else. Getting into Columbia University is highly competitive, with just about a 15% acceptance rate. Today, we're bringing you application advice directly from Columbia's Associate Director of Admissions, Christina Shelby, as well as current students and recent alumni. So stay with us as we share with you how to get into Columbia Business School. Some of the things that I think distinguish Columbia are our um, very international student body, very diverse student body. Uh, we regularly have you know, more than a third of our incoming class uh, are international students. Um, on top of that, we're based in New York, which gives us many, many advantages. But one of the most notable ones, I think, is the way in which we're able to integrate theory and practice in the curriculum and also in the entire student experience. We just have access to so many high-level executives that I don't think you would have if you weren't in New York. So, uh, you know, Jamie Dimon comes to speak once a year, the CEO of J.P. Morgan. We've had uh, the CEO of... Um, Home Depot, we have Mickey Drexler, CEO of J. Crew. Uh, it's just like the access to all of these people. I mean, it's everyone's got a headquarters in New York, and if not, everyone is making a stop through New York at some point in time, so it's really uh, a lot easier for us, I think, to have access to a lot of these executives. All of our students have to take a rigorous core uh, during their first two semesters here, and then they're open to take a variety of different electives, many of which offer uh, opportunities for experiential learning, which is really putting into practice what they've learned so far in the classroom with the guidance of professors, um, professionals that are coming in uh, to help with the classes, etc. We have a lot of adjunct faculty as well, uh, who are people that are working full-time, often senior business leaders that are taking some time out of their weeks to come up to campus uh, and share you know, their wealth of knowledge with our students, which is great because they really know what's going on right now on the ground in the business world. In addition to starting your MBA in the fall, Columbia offers what's called the J term or January term, which allows students to start in January and finish your MBA just 16 months later. Now, while Columbia is known as being highly international, with nearly 40% of last year's class coming from countries outside the U.S., the J-Term class is nearly two-thirds international. You know, in the classroom, we do do a lot of American case studies, but people have comments based on, you know, their experience in Milan or in Singapore or in Sao Paulo, where I spent my professional career up to this point. The J-Term allows you to do your MBA in 16 months straight and I have entrepreneurial goals, so it uh, particularly aligned with what I wanted to do. I think the January program has many advantages. Um, I didn't need an internship because I knew that I wanted to go back to Carlisle. I'm still employed. Um, so the fact that I didn't need, need an internship um, made me like consider the, the shorter program, 16 months. Um, I think it's really good for people that are, know that they're going to go back to their family business or to their previous employer. And, um, and actually it's great because during the summer we're only three clusters at school and we get um, together, like we, we really create a community. Um, we know each other and, and it's fantastic. It's hard to believe that it wasn't that long ago when I was in your shoes spending hours, countless hours on the essays and their recommendations, but trust me, the time and all that hard work and effort is worth it. Here at Columbia, it's important to put your best foot forward in all aspects of the application. Let's talk to Christina Shelby and see what she has to say about what Columbia looks for in a candidate. Driven, focused, uh, people that really know what it is they want to do and, and why they're coming to get an MBA and what they're going to take advantage of here on campus and also what they're going to give to the community. Uh, we're looking for participants not just spectators. You know, we want people to know all the things that we have to offer, um, all the things they're going to be able to take advantage of on campus that will help propel them forward professionally. Um, but we also want uh, really interesting, uh, diverse students that are going to enrich um, the community here and really add to it. Columbia students are very relaxed. Uh, they're very confident, but they do it quietly. Um, have a lot of tact, have a lot of uh, social uh, skills when it comes to interacting with people but doing it in a relaxed fashion. So I think that stands out. You see it professionally, you see it socially. 
Um, there's also a spirit that comes from being in New York where uh, people are very entrepreneurial, uh, very enterprising, and you see that on a day-to-day -day basis with people not only starting businesses, but people simply having that, that entrepreneurial spirit and that energy on a day-to-day -day basis. It is very important to submit a three-dimensional application. So we're looking for professional um, strengths, uh, you know, your progression through your career history, extracurricular involvement, um, your academic experiences, obviously the GMAT score, but we're also looking for who you are as a person. And that really comes across in your essays and in your recommendations and in the interview should you be invited to interview. Uh, so we're looking for you know, an understanding of the whole person. And a mistake I think applicants sometimes make is, is stressing very hard their professional accomplishments um, and forgetting about that other side of the application. First, I would do research and utilize the resources that you have. So I would research the schools, visit them, talk to people you know who have gone there, uh, go on the site and ask a Hermes ambassador, which are we basically have student ambassadors that are assigned to help out perspectives. So reach out to them, ask them your questions, find out about the school, do your research. Uh, but the second thing is, personally, I made a list. Basically, I called it like my hit list. It was like, you know, what are the five things that I really want to get across in my application, despite whatever the essay questions were. And I came up with like, you know, five or six key points about points in my experience, uh, skills I had, uh, like social community service uh, projects that I had done. So I came up with that hit list and then formed a story around those events to answer the essay questions. The biggest piece of advice is to answer the questions. Um, you sometimes have people that will sort of start in the right way and then veer off into going to talk about something else that isn't really what was asked. So be very sure that you're answering the questions. Uh, and for us that's important because our main essay question asks for short and long-term professional goals uh, and why an MBA and why Columbia, essentially. And we're looking for specificity in that. As I said earlier, the people that are most successful here are those that are focused and driven and know what it is they want to do. So when they get here, they can hit the ground running. And they're able to do that because they've really thought through the process, thought through the idea of the MBA, why it's the right thing, and the goals that they have for right after graduating and maybe 10 years down the line. So when you get here and you've got seven or eight or 10 speakers coming in one day, another strength of being in New York, we have a lot of these people on campus, um, you need to be able to choose which one you're going to go see uh, and, and which events you're going to attend and which clubs you're going to be a part of and which courses you're going to take that are going to put you on the best path to succeed professionally. So specificity in those goals uh, and a real uh, thoughtful discussion of, of why an MBA is right for you. Uh, we have a second essay question that's more sort of personally oriented and it's rather open-ended uh, and sort of tell us about yourself personally uh, beyond your professional accomplishments. Uh, and in that, again, you know, take the opportunity to present a three-dimensional application. You know, that's really your, your chance to tell us who you are outside of the work that you've done and, and the grades that you've gotten and the test scores that you have. I, I took a lot of time on the application. The essays are, are less about the writing and more about understanding, you know, what message you want to get across to the admissions board. Um, so I'd say take the time, uh, focus, understanding yourself and what you're looking for. And uh, really, especially for Columbia, be yourself. It's really important. It's not about trying to fit yourself into that box um, of what the school is all about. It's about you really being a natural fit for the school, and they'll see it automatically. So don't try to adjust yourself to fit a school. Just, just be yourself, be open, be relaxed um, in the way you write about yourself and your experiences. One of the most important parts about applying to business school is the GMAT. I remember preparing for mine. It was like, well, it was like the bees. I just wouldn't go away. Let's talk to Christina Shelby and see what she has to say about the GMAT. Take the GMAT as many times as you want. We don't have any problem with multiple GMAT uh, retakes. And we will evaluate your application based on the highest score. So the first thing to do is really try to, to get the best score that you can. Uh, the middle 80% of our most recent entering class, those that entered in 2009, fell between 680 and 760. So for us, that's sort of a comfortable range. We do truly have a very holistic application review process. So. We read every application all the way through entirely before making a decision. You know, there's no look at the GMAT score this much below deny. We, we don't, you know, process that way or review applications that way. And it really is about the whole story. So, you know, if you have a lower end GMAT, you're likely a star or very accomplished in other areas of your application that have impressed us um, very significantly. Some people have, you know, 
780, 790 GMATs, um, and the rest of the application sort of falls flat, and they end up not being admitted. So it really does depend on, on the entirety of the application itself. We hope you've learned a lot about Columbia Business School and how to prepare your application. That's it for this episode of NBA Pod TV. I'm your host, Dylan e. Fernando. Visit us at nbapodcaster.com where you can register for weekly audio and video shows. Join us on Facebook and Twitter to get the latest news and insights on your MBA application process.